So Dune Prophecy is now an official HBO original along with The Penguin. And both of these are spin-offs that Legendary and Warner Brothers were producing alongside their films, or just Warner Brothers, at least for The Batman. So The Batman and Dune are receiving these big budget premiere level spin-off shows. It will premiere on the HBO Max streaming service eventually, but now we've got official confirmation that after some crafty deal making, <laughs> Both The Penguin and Dune Prophecy are branded as HBO originals, so they'll be premiering on HBO before they come out on the Mac streaming service. So this is an article from Variety. When Variety broke the news last month that HBO and Max content CEO Casey Bloys had changed the delineation between what an HBO show and a Max show is, there was an asterisk attached. Max's big budget tentpole Warner Brothers IP projects like the Harry Potter TV show, the IT prequel series Welcome to Derry, and the Green Lantern out adaptation, Lanterns, were moving under the HBO umbrella, but those coming before 2025 would not. That announcement was revealed not too long ago. Finally, people were saying like, why don't you want to be known as HBO? It carries such a reputation of quality programming. It's very famous. <laughs> and I think Conan O'Brien, when he was on Hot Ones, which was epic, uh, one of the best Hot Ones appearances. But he made fun of that too because he had a new show that came out on the Mac streaming service and he said they used to be called HBO but they thought that was too popular so they changed it to Max and kind of just making fun of their very odd decision when it came to the marketing of the streaming service. So now it seems that they're taking steps to correct that and kind of use the HBO, <laughs> HBO uh, moniker that everyone knows so well. So here it continues. Here was the rub, much to Bloy's chagrin. The two shows premiering this fall that had inspired Bloy's to change his tune, The Penguin and Dune Prophecy, couldn't contractually make the switch. The shows had already been sold to international outlets as Max Originals, and those kinds of complicated deals are hard to unwind and revise. So they were doing the new content that was still had yet to be developed with the Harry Potter show, the It prequel series, the Green Lantern show, or film, I don't know what that is. All of that stuff that hasn't been produced yet was going to be under that HBO umbrella. But The Penguin and Doom Prophecy were already well into production. It goes on to say that The Penguin would be an obvious fit as an HBO original. Unfortunately, the process of licensing it internationally has already started, Blois said at the time. Well, after some crafty negotiating, the HBO team has now indeed found a way to rebrand The Penguin and Dune Prophecy as HBO originals as well. Both series will now both air on HBO and stream on Max. And I do feel like this is a good decision. <laughs> Honestly, I think it will reach more viewers this way. And hopefully this also means that we're kind of getting out of just this streaming. There's too much streaming. There's too much of a priority for streaming. Like I feel like streaming has its place, but I think there, there needs to be some balance there. And you really can't compare the benefits of having these shows air on a network that's supported by this ad revenue already on these networks that can help support a big budget show like this. So yeah, I think it's just a smart business decision. Definitely get more eyes on it in this way. And again, like HBO, it has such a great reputation for great shows. And I'll have to continue reading, but it's unclear whether these episodes will premiere, I guess, weekly. Yeah, weekly first on HBO, like a, an episode will premiere on HBO. And then I don't know when it will premiere on uh, the streaming service. Yeah, having a weekly release will definitely help its cultural impact as well. It, I'm a firm believer in the weekly release anyways. Weekly release is a standard for HBO. I do heartily agree with that. <laughs> and I think for Dune especially, it will be helped for this. For a Dune Prophecy show, I think will really benefit from the continued conversation and the extended conversation and eyes on this weekly release model. It will really help more eyes getting on it, more attention. In general, I just feel like a weekly release is better than the binge model. I think there could be a case to be made for the binge model, but I feel like if you want your show to enter the cultural pop culture zeitgeist, a weekly release is pretty much essential because there's so many shows that are just dumped on a streaming service and maybe you'll binge it and then you're gonna forget it next week and no one will talk about it after that. <laughs> so and especially with something that's do a Dune spinoff, I think would definitely help from that added conversation, extended conversation from fans. 
Boys had been eager to move the big budget, prestige Warner Brothers IP series from Max to HBO after seeing early cuts of The Penguin. He believed those clips looked as good or better than anything from HBO and deserved the HBO originals patina. That's great too when it comes to the Penguin show. And for Dune Prophecy, you must really feel that the show Dune Prophecy can live up to HBO's prestigious reputation. <laughs> what we ended up with is shows at this scope and scale that look great and great narratives and talent we've worked with, Blois said at the time. The idea of the delineation kind of started to feel unnecessary. Like, why are we doing this? Let's just call them what they are. HBO shows. Yeah, I agree. Duh. <laughs> And for The Penguin and Dune Prophecy, now they are. The news also comes as HBO prepares a major presence for The Penguin at San Diego Comic-Con, including a takeover recreating Gotham's Iceberg Lounge, stationing a Gotham ice truck in front of the San Diego Convention Center, and partnering with local businesses for giveaways. Additionally, a Hall H panel will feature the cast and executive producers of The Penguin, where the official trailer for the series will premiere. Is anyone excited for The Penguin here? I did love Colin Farrell's Penguin portrayal. Thought he was really good. And in regards to Dune Prophecy, according to the Dune Prophecy logline, from the expansive universe of Dune created by acclaimed author Frank Herbert and 10,000 years before the ascension of Paul Atreides, Dune Prophecy follows two Harkonnen sisters as they combat forces that threaten the future of humankind and establish the fabled sect that will become known as the Bene Gesserit. And here's a new still that was released official still from the show was released of Avalia Harkonnen in this picture. Yeah, this is Emily Watson. They definitely have some great talent attached to this show and, and the Penguin as well. I thought that was crazy that that was Colin Farrell, but he did really well in that and his prosthetics looked really, really good. Really realistic. Yeah, so I think it's a great decision from a commercial standpoint to move your more prestige, more like premiere television shows to this format, this weekly format on HBO, and then later introduce it to the Mac streaming service. I think that's a good choice in general, but it makes sense for these particular properties or these shows based off these famous IPs. It makes sense for that. Yeah, we'll see. And we'll see how this new weekly format will work for this. I definitely think it will work in its favor as far as getting it in the eyes of new audiences and fans and keeping it in the pop culture sphere. Because unfortunately, with the release of Doom Part 2, I think it was only out for like six weeks in theaters before it was available to purchase on video on demand. And I really think that hampered it as far as its pop culture impact. You know, Dune was never really a huge IP. It is as far as uh, its foundation, one of the foundational works of science fiction, as far as the novels go and all that and its impact on other stories. But the IP itself is uh, it's always been kind of niche. And I do think that having it out in theaters for as long as possible would have helped the conversation, would have kept it in people's minds and kept it in the conversation longer. But yeah, here we are. <laughs> Hopefully the show is good. Yeah, I'm hopeful, but not holding my breath. <laughs>